How y'all doing, T.K. Smith Jr.? Just want to sit out some encouragement for someone right now that may be needing it. So, I want to encourage you right now to let go of the past. The past does not define the person that you see right now in the mirror. The person you see right now in the mirror is so strong. They're no longer a victim of the past. They are a survivor. They are a survivor. So, yes, you are a survivor. Because we all have been through something. So, even I'm a survivor. Our past needs to stay where it belongs. And that's right behind us. But we walk into too many situations. Swinging at the people all in front of us. Like we thinking. They did that individual that hurt us at one point in time in our life. We're trying to knock out every person. Because we're like, I'll be damned if you come in my life fucking shit up again. I'll be damned. When that's the attitude that we don't need to be having. Because we are knocking out innocent people that have not done anything to us. But we're holding on to that past. This past feeling that's inside of us, we're just, oh, we we carrying it like luggage and we're letting it weigh us down. And, and no matter what, we're going to continue to act like we're strong even though it's not. We're weak. We're weak. You're a survivor. And as a survivor, you should feel the strength of a survivor. Because you're no longer in that situation. That feeling that you feel inside of you, you do not live right now. It's in your past and it needs to stay in your past. But long as you continue to allow it to weigh you down in your thoughts and emotions and then make you fearful of each step that you take that you might fall into that hole again. Then you're limiting yourself. You're blocking your blessings. And as many blessings as you continue to block and you're over here saying, my life will never change. Yes, because you're blocking your blessings because you're allowing your past to define the person that you see in the mirror and that person that you see in the mirror is a survivor. So you are a survivor. You're no longer a victim. And I want you to say it proud. I'm not a victim. I am a survivor. And as a survivor, I am strong. And I am not going to carry these past emotions that's in my mind. Because I'm no longer living in my past. Because I'm in the present to reach my future. Control the outcomes of my life. Because they're just thoughts. Every person that approached me, I don't need to knock out. Every person that approached me, I don't need that China wall that I can't even see their face because it's a damn wall. It's too damn high. You got to let it go. And leave your past wherever it lands. And don't allow it to continue to travel with you. Because it's breaking you down. And you're treating everybody like they were that individual that hurt you. That individual that scarred you. That put that mark on your back that you can't even put a band-aid on. But you're a survivor though. And I want you to say it every single day I'm a survivor and I'm not a victim of the past. Those past memories are my thoughts that I'm holding on to. And I don't need to continue to let it weigh into my future. And that light that you've been destined to reach at the end of the tunnel, watch it get closer when you let go of that luggage. Because you're walking free with no shackles no more. So I just wanted to give y'all some encouragement. Because somebody right now, they're holding on to some past experience and they need to let go. So share this video. Pass it on. Somebody need to hear it. You need to hear it. I need to hear it. Because I pass, we carrying it too much and we need to reach our purpose with full strength all right y'all tk smith jr share and like this message all right y'all y'all have a blessed day